Hey what is going on everyone, long time no see, this is Wicked and tonight I'm going to show you how to install, test and overview the Oreo beta firmware on the Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. First of all, you'll need to know that this will only work on Exynos variants of the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Snapdragon ones already received the beta testing software. The one I'm testing out today is made by Soldier9312, so big shout out for him. Ok, so let's get to the prerequisites. You will need to have TWRP in your device. I have a video on how to install it and the risk you'll assume after you do that in the card section. Make sure you check it out. Then you will need to make sure that you're running at least QH3 firmware on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. You can check this out by opening phone info app and check the firmware tab. If you're not running at least QH3 on bootloader and baseband, check my video on how to update them. Also, before you follow my instructions here, make sure you throw an eye onto the official XDA thread as it may contain updated information. So, without further ado, let's get into the installation procedure. So, you will need to boot into TWRP and before you do anything, it's recommended to make an Android backup of your current software so that you could restore it back later if you won't like Oreo that much, although I doubt you won't be impressed by the smoothness of it. After you've finished your backup, you also need to make another backup of your important stuff from your internal storage because it is going to be erased in the installation process. So, connect your device to your PC using your USB Type-C cable and backup them, including the TWRP folder where the backup is placed. Then, go to wipe and click format data. This will wipe your data partition, including your internal storage. Then, go to advanced wipe and select the Dalvi cache system, internal storage and cache partition and swipe to wipe. You'll have to go back and reboot again into recovery so that all the wipe partitions will be loaded up, ready to be used again. Now you'll need to place the Oreo firmware and root zip onto your internal storage, so connect the device again and copy both files to your internal storage. Then, go to install and select the Oreo zip, the installation will begin. Then flash the Magisk 14.4 and after all the steps you're ready to reboot your device and enjoy the taste of Oreo. All the files I used in this video as always are linked into the description. Bear in mind that the first booting process will take some time so grab a cookie and wait. And finally, Android Oreo running on my Galaxy S8. From the configuration menus you can see some subtle differences compared to the Nougat firmware. The biggest modification would be the notification customization menu which lets you set the transparency of them. At the end, they implemented a nice welcome message which is also a nice touch. So yeah, while all the apps are downloading in the background, let me show you some new features of this new Oreo firmware. First of all, in the settings app you'll get a big search bar at the top which will let you browse through the phone's feature more easily by searching keywords. The about phone section has been redesigned as you can see and voila! Android version 8.0.0 Oreo with Samsung Experience 9.0 running on my device. Another new feature I noticed while I was setting up the device is the always on display and the new watch faces like this cubic style one and also these brand new analog ones. It is also possible to customize the lock screen clock. A new visual change takes part into the edge panel as you can notice. The app path function was also added into the app section of the edge panel and it works without a miss. The edge screen is the one implemented on the S8 or S8 Plus firmware, unfortunately not the one present on the Note 8 which brought some more customization options. The opening animation seems to be a tad smoother than on the, the Nougat firmware, I couldn't encounter any problems here. Maybe some lag spikes from time to time but that's pretty normal for a beta release. Let's talk about the camera which was also revamped. It looks like the one on the Note 8 firmware with the full view option up integrated. Apart from that, apps seem to be kind of the same as we got used to. Regarding the performance, even though numbers don't mean a lot to me, I did a Geekbench test and this is the score it got. Gaming performance was pretty laggy during Need for Speed No Limits and the Samsung VPS counter wasn't working on Oreo so I can't really tell if it's just me. Check the video and see the gameplay by yourselves. One part of this beta release which really sucks is the battery life unfortunately. I hope the devs will fix this issue right away, I started playing with the phone at 46% and right now after more than half an hour of high usage, of heavy usage, I have almost 31%. 
The drain is kind of massive in my perspective, but let's not forget this is a beta build, so things are supposed to get better and better in the future. Anyways, this was the review and installation tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell icon so that you'll be notified with all my uploads. I'm Wicked and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Let's Get Wicked and on Google Plus at Wicked is here. If you like my video, don't forget to press that thumbs up button. As always, until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.